As we look back on the four year anniversary of Hurricane Harvey, we're getting a firsthand account from someone who was there. Joining me now, Storm Chaser, Jeff Mangum. Jeff, what was maybe something um, that surprised you the most out of the whole event? Like when you chase tornadoes, it's a very quick experience. I mean, you're waiting for a storm to develop. Tornado might be on the ground for, I don't know, uh, five minutes to 20 minutes, give or take. Hurricanes are completely different. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And it is one thing to talk about 140 mile per hour winds. It's another thing to look on radar and see what it might look like. But when you're inside of a car or any structure and you hear the howling and you hear debris hitting your window and you're watching to totally wide out conditions where you can't even see what's in front of you, it's just unnerving. And I think uh, it, it, you start to hear stories of PTSD that people have when they go through storms like this makes all the sense in the world. What personally got to you the most as far as fear goes? I'm to this day convinced that my greatest fear is flooding. Uh, I never I never would have thought that. I, I, I think I used to believe that flooding was something you could see coming and you'd get out of the way. Um, I'll just never forget. I'll never forget uh, the experiences of day three, four and five in Houston, Texas. Um, uh, when you're driving around major interstates where you're used to seeing hundreds of cars being uh, in five o'clock traffic and instead it just looks like, looks like a swimming pool it just doesn't register it doesn't register when you're looking at a home depot or all these uh a target or walmart and you can barely see the signs because the water is 30 40 feet high it, it does something to you and you start seeing people swimming out of their homes you see people in boats I think uh, I documented some, some of the helicopters uh, picking people up off the roofs and bringing them onto an interstate for safety, which just saying that out loud sounds crazy. But I remember at one point uh, counting nine helicopters just in my vicinity, uh, thinking this just feels like Armageddon. This feels yeah. like the end of the world. This is abnormal. And so I think, uh, I think being able to see the impacts of, of the flooding like that, um, it's just so exponential and so scary.